The federal government has just announced minimum pay standards for Australian gig workers, including delivery drivers. Here's what's going on. The Workplace Relations Minister Tony Burke announced new federal legislation will give gig workers more rights, including minimum pay rates. He said at a press conference the gig economy has exploded in recent years and workers were being exploited because there are currently no minimum standards. He said this is because the current system has no definition for the kind of work gig workers do, but that the new laws would fix that. He said, the reason they have no minimum standards is this. At the moment, you turn up to the Fair Work Commission and the Fair Work Commission asks the initial question, are you an employee? If you are an employee, you have this whole series of rights. If you're not an employee, all of those rights, all of them fall off a cliff. This legislation will create a new test to determine whether or not someone classifies as a worker and anyone who does will be entitled to a minimum pay rate. People who find work through food delivery apps will automatically come under that definition, but people who find work through platforms like Facebook and Airtasker won't necessarily because those platforms are considered to be more like forums rather than service providers. This means that when a customer orders food from a delivery app, it will likely be a bit more expensive once the new laws come into effect on July 1, 2024. Burke said, a tiny bit extra on your dinner bill is a pretty small price to pay for the human rights and safety of the person who delivers your food. He said, underpaying people is cheaper. Yeah, it is. Slavery is probably cheaper too. He added that a lack of minimum standards for gig workers has subjected them to unsafe work conditions and at least 13 gig workers have died on Australian roads. This legislation fulfills one of Labor's election promises regarding workplace relations and several other bills, including to criminalise wage theft and give casual workers the right to choose to switch to permanent contracts are also in the works.